Hello everyone, my name is David Rocha. I'm a Senior Partner Solutions Architect with Amazon Web Services. And today I'm joined by Sherry. Hi everyone, I'm Sherry Yu from SUSE, focusing on solutions around business critical Linux. And today, this is the second video covering SUSE Liberty Linux. In the first video, we discussed CentOS 7 End of Life, which happened on June 30th, 2024. And we discussed the problems that it created when customers that are using CentOS 7 no longer have access to security fixes or community support. Um, we discussed with SUSE what, and Sherry in fact, what the um, solution that SUSE offered, and it was SUSE Liberty Linux. So in today's video, we're actually going to discuss the different tiers of SUSE Liberty Linux. So, Sherry? Thank you, David. So SUSE Liberty Linux is offered in four options. Four options. The first one is light. Um, it provides updates and the patches only, which means customer cannot call SUSE support. And the repos are configured through the uh, RMT. RMT stands for Repository Minering Tool, uh, which is a basic tool that uh, used to manage the packages and updates. The second tier is basic. It covers all the features or solutions that the light bundles. And on top of that, customers can receive standard support. The repos can be managed by RMT or SUSE Manager. The third tier is professional. It bundles all the solutions and offerings that the basic has. And on top of that, it comes with a priority support. Priority support is offered the, through 24 by 7. And it's more targeting for the uh, mission critical workloads. The fourth tier is enterprise. Uh, it's more for customers who already has a plan or desire to migrate their Linux-based uh, workloads to SUSE Linux, uh, which is SUSE Linux Enterprise. Uh, for that reason, the subscription of SUSE Linux Enterprise are uh, included as part of the enterprise. Okay, and I see in the basic, it does have SUSE Manager, a SUSE Manager subscription included. Um, I do want to point out that SUSE Manager does a have a bring your own subscription um, listing within the AWS marketplace. And so when you do receive that subscription from purchasing SUSE Liberty Linux basic subscription, professional or enterprise, you can use that, um, that subscription to go ahead and activate SUSE Manager through the AWS marketplace. Uh, I do have a question on what sort of customers do you see using these different tiers? So for CentOS customers, the light and the basic are the most popular ones because CentOS customers tend to be self-sufficient and mm -hmm. they do self-support, but they do need updates and the patches from a reliable source. In that case, light meets the customer needs in that sense. And on top of light, basic provides um, standard support so customer at least they can call SUSE when issue does arise. And with SUSE Manager, a customer may wonder what's the benefit of using SUSE Manager versus RMT. So SUSE Manager is the only commercially available lifecycle management tool in the market that can manage mixed uh, Linux distro environment. That re uh, resonates with our customers because the CentOS customers very often have different Linux distros are running. By using SUSE Manager, they can streamline the operations easily. And I will say um, that in speaking with CentOS customers, you know, it seems that Basic and Light are very attractive offerings for those um, customers. So in the next video, what we plan on doing is covering the deployment for using rep repository mirroring tool, RMT, and showing how SUSE Liberty Linux can be, I guess, deployed, mm -hmm. <laughs> implemented. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.